Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about quality differences between sensor sizes and does it matter? So over the last several years, uh, the gap in quality between a full size sensor and even a APS-C or Micro Four Thirds sensor, that quality gap is gotten much, much smaller as cameras perform better at higher um, sensor sensitivity, the ISO settings. Um, just look at how far the iPhone has come over the past five years. Take a picture with a five-year-old iPhone, then take one with a new one. Um, and even in low light, and you can see a, a, a drastic difference. You know, the iPhone sensor really hasn't increased in size all that much over the years. And uh, I think cam camera manufacturers are getting much, much better with their sensor technology. And I will say sensor size isn't the end all be all because um, I think back in 2013, actually 2014, I bought a uh, 5D Mark III for shooting high-end properties. And uh, I wasn't all that impressed with editing those photos. I, I felt like the, uh, the, qu the quality of the shadows as you're boosting them, you know, it fell apart relatively quickly. And then I, I went, I switched to the Sony body. I had the same lens. I used a Metabones adapter. It was a uh, A7R, the original Sony. Same size sensor, drastically different results. Like the Sony had so much more information in the shadows and the highlights and they were the exact sensor size. And I think the megapixels, the pixels may have even been a little bit smaller on the Sony or they might have been similar. I, I can't remember exactly. They're, they both were somewhere around 20. I think the, the Sony was closer to 30 if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, uh, the sensor technology at that time, even though the sensors were the same size, the Sony out outperformed. Now I think current model of Canons, Nikons, and Sonys are pretty close um, in performance of low light. Now I, I will mention that most real estate photography is taken during the day when there's plenty of light. And I think it's really hard to distinguish a quality difference if you're shooting with a uh, a full frame camera or even a you know a, a Canon Rebel APS-C size sensor or even a GH4 GH5 micro four third sensor because um, manufacturers are getting much better um, with their sensor technology so that quality gap has gotten much much more narrow over the last several years and uh, I think it doesn't matter as much uh, the sensor size as it has in the past so anyways those are my thoughts on quality and sensor size and does it matter if you got value out of this video make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel as we consistently put out real estate photography content just like this and as always thanks for watching we will see you guys on the next one